hello everyone hello everyone now uh, we will see the other examples related to the word problems from the same chapter linear equation in one variable and exercise 2 okay now uh, in the exercise 2 we have already in our earlier video i have already explained about uh, some of the problem the th three problems and uh, now i will be explaining about the fourth problem now in the fourth problem what the question says is sum of two numbers is 95 sum of two numbers is 95 if one exceed other by 15 find the number see what it is saying very simple sum of two numbers is 95 did it other than 95 did they had given anything uh, specific to the numbers no only one hint they had given that the other exceed by 15 so what we here we can say let the number b x now this is the first number the second number exceeds by 15 so let the first number what he, here i will say is uh, let the first number be let one number i will say that will be easy to understand let one number be x therefore the other number other number exceeds by how much by 15 so exceeds by 15 means what now if this is 1 then this will be 1 plus 15 that will be 16 so if this is x then this will be x plus 15 now if these two numbers are added what we are getting the numbers are uh, if two numbers are added then the result is 95 therefore here what we can say x plus x plus 15 sorry this is uh, 15 x plus x plus 15 is equal to 95 now we have already framed the equation now what we have to do we have to just solve the equation therefore 2x plus 15 is equal to 95 because x plus x is 2x therefore 2x is equal to how much 95 minus 15 i am taking 15 onto the other side therefore the sign changes from plus to minus therefore 2x is equal to how much it will be 95 minus 15 that is 50 and this is 80 okay therefore x will be how much x is equal to 80 by 2 because here it is multiplication if it comes here it gets converted into division this is 240 is a therefore x is equal to 40 now we know the x is 40 the other number therefore what we can say i will write it here therefore the first number is x is equal to 40 x is equal to 40 therefore the second number will be how much will be second number is x plus 15 that is nothing but 40 plus 15 it is equal to 55 correct so this is how uh, we are solving the examples very simple only the thing is we need to understand that how we need to frame the equation and how we how the equation is representing the numbers now let's see the second uh, fifth example in the in this uh, what it is been said is two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 3 see now here we are getting in the form of ratio the two numbers are in the ratio of 5 is to 3 if they differ by 18 what are the numbers so here what we can say that the ratio what it is mentioned that it is 5 is to 3 and they differ by 18 if they differ by 18 what are the numbers now differ means what difference difference means subtraction so that we have to see now what is the common ratio here do we know that we don't know so what we will say let the ratio let let the ratio uh, or here i can say let the common ratio then that will be much more uh, uh, easy why because common ratio because there are two different numbers let the common 
ratio b x right therefore how many numbers we are having two numbers what is that 5 and 3 therefore the two numbers will be how much therefore the two numbers will be how much one will be your 5x and the other will be 3x now what it is said here if they differ by 18 what it is said if they differ by 18 means if these two numbers have a difference of 18 that is 5x therefore uh, let me just write therefore the numbers differ by 18 therefore how much it will be therefore 5x minus 3x is equal to 18 right because uh, there is a difference between the two numbers and when we take the difference then the your result is 18 therefore now just simply we can just solve it 5x minus uh, 3x is how much 2x is equal to 18 now this is x 2 into x means 2 multiplied by x therefore x is equal to how much it will be 18 by 2 2 1s are 2 9s are therefore one of your number is how much therefore the first number first number is 5x is equal to 5 into 9 is equal to how much 5 9s are 45 and second number is equal to how much it is 3x it is equal to 3 into 9 it is equal to 27 now how much should be the difference when we when they differ then how much uh, it they are getting the result is how much if they differ by 18 what are the numbers so if they are differ by 18 what are the numbers means the numbers are nothing but your 45 and 27 so the first number is your uh, 5x which is becoming uh, 45 because 5 into 9 is 45 and the second number is 3x and that is becoming your 27 got it so Hope you understood this one. We'll go to the next uh, example. Now, in the next example, what is said is it is very very simple. Just we need to understand it. Sum of three consecutive multiples of eight is eight eight eight. Okay. Now uh, find the multiples. Now what they are saying sum of three consecutive multiples of eight. This is very important. Consecutive now, if they uh, if they would have said that the sum of three consecutive numbers is 888, eight, eight, then we would have just simply write x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. But what they are saying that multiples of it, sum of three consecutive multiples of it. So let us just write the solution here. We know, uh, we don't know that what are those numbers, right? So let the multiples B, what will be your first multiple? 8x. The second multiple will be how much? That is x plus 1, right? But why it is a multiple of 8. So the third number will be how much? Again, x plus 2, but it is multiple of 8, right? So when we add, some means when we add this 3, how much we are getting? 8, 8, 8. So now just simply we can uh, solve this problem. What we can say is therefore sum of consecutive numbers is equal to 8, 8, 8. Therefore the equation will be your 8x plus 8 into x plus 1 plus 8 into x plus 2 is equal to 8, 8, 8 okay <clears throat> now see if if this would have not been there then we would have just simply written it as i will just show it here so that uh, there can be this kind of questions as well thus if it would have been sent the sum of three consecutive numbers is 888 then we would have just said let the first consecutive number is x the second consecutive number will be uh, x plus 1 and the third consecutive number will be x plus 2 
so first second and third three numbers right but here in the question what it is being said that it is multiple of eight so this is multiple of eight multiple of eight and multiple of eight like that it is so that is how we have framed the equation therefore now open the brackets 8x plus 8x plus 8 okay or just what I will do is 8 is common right in all the equations 8 is common so I can just take uh, okay let me just open the brackets that will be easy 8x plus 8x plus 8 plus 8x plus 8 to the 16 is equal to 888 8, 8. now see here 8x 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 3 times therefore it is how much 8 3 is a 24x plus 8 plus 16 is how much 24 right so plus 24 uh, is equal to 888 8, 8. correct 8 plus 8 is uh, 8x plus 8x is uh, 16 16x plus 16x plus 8x is uh, 24 and uh, 8 plus 16 is nothing but your 24 therefore now in order to further simplify you can directly take this uh, number on this side or however you wish you can take the common numbers from here now just i will go in a very simplified uh, manner instead of making it complicated so 24x is equal to 888 minus 24 right this one correct therefore uh, what we can say it here is uh, 24x is equal to how much it will be 8 6 4 therefore now let me just take it out uh, so that uh, I have some space to write for the rest of the example I am just taking it out okay okay now let me hide it yes what I will do is I will have some space to write okay therefore now I will take x on to the other side x is equal to 864 divided by 24 now uh, see on both the sides uh, uh, the end number is uh, sorry on uh, denominator and a, uh, numerator uh, there is uh, even number right so just simply we can divide it by 2 for easy reference this is 2 12 za, 2 4 za, 2 3 za, 2 2 za. now can we divide it by 12 12 3 za, 36 12 4 za, 48 I'll just simply go with 2 2 6 za, 12 so this is your 2 1 2 2 is a 4 2 1 is a 2 2 6 is a 12 again uh, can we have this 6 1 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 6 3 is a 18 18 21 minus uh, 18 is how much 3 again 36 so 6 6 is a 36 therefore what we are having therefore x is equal to how much 36 this is what the first consecutive number right therefore the first consecutive number is equal to 36 second consecutive number will be how much consecutive number is equal to 8 into x plus 1 so this is equal to 8 into x is how much 36 plus 1 so this is 8 into 37 how much we will get 8 into 37 let me just multiply that uh, 8 into 37 is 296 so it is equal to 296 likewise what we can have third number is equal to 8 into x plus 2 so this is again 8 into 36 plus 2 this is 8 into 38 how much it will be 3 not 
4 right this is uh, let me just write it in a proper format 304 so this is these are what the numbers is the first number is what the first number is your uh, x and we found the value of x to be how much 36 the therefore the first number is 36 second number is how much 8x plus 1 because what we have said this is your first number this is your second number and this is your third number so now we are finding all the numbers so 8x plus 1 when we substitute the values how much you are getting 296 this is your second number and when we substitute the value for the third number how much we are getting 304 got it so this is how uh, we are solving this example hope everyone understood this I request you to please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like the videos and if you have any comments or questions please post it in the video. Thank you.